Second in my gut. I'm meteorologist Adam Stiles. We have been showing you off the pretty cool sights here at 191 Glen Cedar Road, and we're here with the homeowner. Jamie, you've been doing this for how many years? Started with a couple of things on the lawn about 15 years ago at this level, probably about seven years or so. And why do you do it? Well, it started off, obviously, we love Halloween. Uh, we do it at this level because of the sense of community that we get. People really like it, not just in the neighborhood, but throughout the city, the country, and we get numerous visitors from all around the world. Uh, but the key thing we do right now is we raise money for a charity, Hospital for Sick Children, Toronto Western Hospital, and over the last several years, with matching funds from my firm, Zuber and Company Litigation Council, little plug there, we've raised well over. <laughs> it's 40, for charity, I'll allow. We, it. We've raised well, well over forty thousand dollars. That's amazing. That's incredible. And now you're getting your son Austin into it. What's your favorite part of the night, bud? Uh, my favorite thing would be scaling people. Yeah. What's the scariest thing? Oh, probably the dog. The dog, yeah, the dog. The dog is pretty scary. You know what else is kind of scary? Look over this way, Adrian. This thing's pretty scary. Yeah. That guy's not having a good day. Not having a good day. I feel like that after that first snowstorm that may be a missed forecast. That's how I feel some of those days. All right, let's talk about what's going on weather-wise. The good news is rain in the morning, clearing out by the afternoon. That'll be the setup. Rain tonight. In fact, it's going to start at about 9 or 10, and then it's going to continue throughout the early morning hours. It'll be a soggy morning commute expected, and we'll see it that wet weather clearing out by noon, cloud cover into the afternoon. Temperatures will ni be nice and mild. That's the good news. We'll get some rain that'll be in the area as we head through the day on Thursday. It'll be fairly light, but there'll be on and off showers. More of it expected as we go into the day on Friday. About 15 to 20 millimeters for most of the GTA. Some spots will see a little bit less. A couple of spots down toward the Niagara region. You're going to see a little bit more here over the spans of the uh, next couple of days. 10 degrees with that wet morning commute to start the day, so mild conditions. In fact, we will warm up. 12 degrees expected by midday, and then a high of 13 in the forecast, dropping to about 10 or so once the trick-or-treat rolls around. It'll be cooler on Thursday with 9 degrees, scattered showers lingering into Friday with a high temperature of 8, and then Saturday and Sunday drying out, remaining below that seasonal mark, warming up a little bit as we head into the first full week of November, but that rain is going to be back once we get into Tuesday. We're into a fairly active pattern. So that's going to do it from here. Again, 191 uh, Glen Cedar if you want to come check out this amazing display that Jamie and his family have set up and throw a couple of bucks in the charity bin for it. All of an updated forecast. Cast tonight at 11.